This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne, and in this movie, I want to try to keep the babbling down to a minimum, but considering the topics that we're going to cover, mainly the relationship graph and security, it's going to be kind of hard not to babble just a bit and go off topic. So I'll try to keep it at a minimum. And what we are going to be talking about is security access levels, the relationship graph, and nuances between the two. So let's go ahead and bring up the reader input that basically started this whole thing going. We have multiple files in our FileMaker solution. We have instances where a user has full access in one file, but does not have full access in the second file. In regards to our mixed access users, looking at the relationship graph for the file they have access to, what does the relationship graph look like? And I can only assume that we're talking about what does it look like or what does it tell us about a file that may have table occurrences in the graph, but that file is the one we don't have full access to. So I have to admit, I don't think I've done this that much, if at all. I have read where techniques of this is done, and it mostly goes into what we call a separation model type of thing, where we have a user interface in one file, and we have data in another file. And there's different access levels going back and forth between the two. I've also seen these hybrid um, separation models where you may create a separate file that links into another file, and the users have access in that file to design layouts, and this is mostly so they get a chance to tweak their own reports um, without adding schema or other layouts or possibly even harming another layout in the, the main production file. So there are instances of this. Since I haven't done this that much, I had to create an example file and look at it myself. And I kind of admit I was a little bit stunned about what I found. And uh, anytime you talk about relationships and security and stuff like that, uh, you know, there's going to be 18 different ways to look at it. So you just really got to look at it the way that is supported. So I created two files, a file A and file B, and we've got a file reference from A to B, and we have a relationship using that file reference. And we have some security accounts in both of them. And in file A, we have a security account that has full access. And in file B, that exact same account name does not have full access. Let's bring up the files. Here's file A and file B. And please not try to be distracted by the cutting edge user interface on either one of them. But, so... You can see right now we are logged in with a username of full access in both files. So what we're talking about here, in the accounts and privileges, we have two active user accounts. One's called admin, which has got full access. And we got one called Dwayne Wright, which has got full access. And again, this is in file A. Let me allow it. File A also has an external data source defined to go to file B. And because of that, we go into our relationship graph. We can have file B's tables represented on the graph called table occurrences. We can set up a relationship between the two. So we have field 1 equals to field 1. You can even double click on that table of currents and again see that that data source is linked to file B and not to file A. Now we can go over to file B and check out the same thing, accounts and privileges. Here also we have an admin account and we have a Dwayne Wright account. 
But then under the privilege set setting, you can see that Dwayne Wright only has read only access in file B. So then the account names are the same between the two files, but in file B, we have Dwayne Wright have a lesser level of access. So, we had looked at the relationship graph going forward. Now I have to find a button action in both of these. So if you haven't ever seen that, let's just go in and duplicate that. It just uses a re-login script. So it's basically bringing up the dialog box that you would see in any secure uh, FileMaker database that challenges you for your credentials to open the file. And then when you type in your credentials, which is your user account name and password, you authenticate your access to the file, and then that gets the ball rolling going forward. So, what I'm going to do is click Relog In. I'm challenged for my credentials. I'm going to sign in with my username, and I don't have a password in this example. And you can see the calculation fields that I have has knocked me over to my username is Dwayne Wright. Remember that we did have in file A, Dwayne Wright does have full access. And we still have our valid relationship. We're going to go to file uh, B, get challenged. We authenticate with a username. And our calculation fields do tell us that we are in that username and we are using the read-only access, and we can also see that we don't have the ability to create scripts, and we don't can't go into the uh, manage dialog box in file B. So the question is: Now I don't have full access in this file. I have full access in this file. I'm going to pull up the relationship graph. What will or what will not be shown to me about file B in the relationship graph. I have full access here. I don't have full access here. What can I see using going through the relationship graph? Well, there you go. It looks like there's no discernible difference. Even though I don't have full access to this file, I don't have design access to that file. Since I do have full access here, I can see the different field names. I can even change the relationship if I wanted to. I do have what appears to be on the relationship graph the ability to do anything. I can set up allow creation of records in that table, delete related records in that table, Although I have the ability to create the setting, I'm pretty confident that uh, since I don't have delete access in that table, this just would not work. You know, when I deleted my parent, it would not delete the related files just because I don't have access to it. So this would be a case where the security would override the uh, relationship setting. But I can create the setting. So... That brings up a lot of interesting questions, and that's one of the things you're going to probably have to experiment with your own uh, demo files. I wouldn't experiment with your live files to see how these nuances, how this affects your overall security settings. Some would say that file B, I shouldn't be able to see what's going on in file B because I don't have access to it but I can see it and so that's just something you'll have to adjust with as a professional FileMaker developer. Thanks very much folks. Do you have questions or comments about the video you just saw? Please feel free to email me at info at Thank you.